जय हिंद माई नेम इज मधुप अग्रवाल आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ए के जी टूडेज अवर टॉपिक इज पाइथन स्टैंडर्ड डेटा टाइप्स सो इन द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वी यूज डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स जस्ट लाइक नंबर्स स्ट्रिंग लिस्ट टपल एंड डिक्शनरी दीज आर मेन डेटा टाइप्स यूज इन द पाइथन लैंग्वेज सो वन बाई वन वी विल सी हिय अबाउट नंबर्स स्ट्रिंग लिस्ट टपल एंड डिक्शनरी थारोली सो फर्स्ट नंबर्स पाइथन नंबर्स नंबर डेटा टाइप्स नंबर डेटा टाइप्स मीन सिंपली इन टीजर नंबर डेटा टाइप स्टोर न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू नंबर ऑब्जेक्ट आर क्रिएटेड वेन यू असाइन अ वैल्यू टू देम सो जस्ट लाइक हियर इन द एग्जाम्पल ए इक्वल टेन ए इक्वल टेन मीन्स नाउ टेन इज असाइन टू ए और वी कैन से द वैल्यू टेन इज रेफर्ड बाई वैल्यू टेन इज रेफर्ड बाई द नेम ए सिमिलरली द वैल्यू ट्वेंटी इज रेफर्ड बाई अ नेम दैट इज बी ओके नाउ वी कैन ऑल्सो डिलीट द रिफरेंस वी कैन ऑल्सो डिलीट द रिफरेंस टू ए नंबर ऑब्जेक्ट दीज आर ऑब्जेक्ट ए एंड बी आर ऑब्जेक्ट हियर बिकॉज पाइथन इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो ईच एंड एवरी रिफरेंस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी कैन ऑल्सो डिलीट द रिफरेंस टू द नंबर ऑब्जेक्ट बाई यूजिंग द डेल स्टेटमेंट बाई यूजिंग द डेल स्टेटमेंट जस्ट लाइक हियर डेल ए सो वी आर डिलीटिंग द रिफरेंस विच इज पॉइंटिंग टू द वैल्यू टेन और विच इज रेफर टू द वैल्यू टेन एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो डिलीट द मल्टीपल ऑब्जेक्ट बाई यूजिंग द डेल स्टेटमेंट बाई यूजिंग द कॉमा डेल मल्टीपल ए एंड बी बोथ सो इफ वी एक्सेस दी एक्सेस द ऑब्जेक्ट ए एंड बी आफ्टर डिलीटिंग इट देन देर विल बी एन एर मैसेज बिकॉज देर इज नो वैल्यू रेफर बाई ए एंड बी नाउ पाइथन सपोर्ट थ्री डिफरेंट न्यूमेरिक टाइप्स ऑल्सो फर्स्ट इज इन टीजर मीन साइन इन टीजर्स फ्लोट वैल्यूज मीन्स हैविंग द फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑल्सो एंड द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर मीन्स कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर आर रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट बोथ सो ऑल इन टीजर्स इन पाइथन थ्री देर आर टू वर्जन ऑफ पाइथन पाइथन टू एंड पाइथन थ्री सो इन द पाइथन थ्री इन टीजर्स आर रिप्रेजेंटेज एज लॉन्ग इन टीजर्स सो देर इज नो नीड टू सपोर्ट द टाइप लॉन्ग एज यूज इन द प्रीवियस लैंग्वेज जस्ट लाइक इन सी we use different integer types int and long int but in python 3 also integer represent by the long int now example of int float and complex just example is simple positive value just like 10 100 or negative value also 7 8 6 this is integer type values and the float type values are having fractional part 0.05 15.20 these are positive values and negative values is minus 21.9 and in the case of complex complex variable having the real and imaginary part here imaginary part is represented using the j so 3 plus 14j means 3 is the real part of this number and 14 is the imaginary part this is just like x plus iy so now this is 3 just like x plus iy okay now in the second example 45j means this having no real part only imaginary part here and now this is this is exponential type means 4 3 2 this is real part and imaginary part is the 9.32 322 and into 10 to power minus 36 this is the imaginary part here e e represent 10 power 10 power minus 36 so for a small representation a small number fractional number we use the exponential with the negative powers 
So a complex number consists of an ordered pair of real floating point number denoted by the x plus y j as here x plus y j. This is x 3 is x plus y 14 and j this is here real plus imaginary part. Now the second data type, second data type is python string. Strings in python are identified as a continuous set of character represented in the quotation mark. This quotation mark may be single quotation, double quotation also. So means string means group of character we can say group of character, character may be any alphabet, character may be any number, character may be any symbol also means this is simply represented as character within double or single quotes. And python allows either pair of single or double quotes as discussed and subset of string this is the operation. Now subset of string can taken using the slice operator. This operation performed on the string. Two operations these are index operation and this is slice operation. Slice operation is represented using the colon sign. We will see the example afterward with index starting at 0. So, index starting at 0 just here we can say this is if this is string we can say my str equal just hello. So, here h e l l and this is o hello. Now, the starting index is 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 and then 4. So, this is the starting index. Index is starting at 0 in the beginning of the string. This is starting and working their way to end minus 1. Now, what is minus 1? Here, no indexing is minus 1 here. This is. So, there are two method of indexing in the python. First is this is positive indexing. This is positive indexing. Now, negative indexing last element at negative at index negative index minus 1. Then second last minus 2, then third last minus 3, then minus 4 and then this is minus 5. So, if we, we are using my negative indexing, then the last element, last element will lie on the minus 1 index. This is at end with the minus 1. So, positive and negative indexing both. So, this is easiest method to find the last element, just use the negative indexing minus 1, get the last element. The second operation, the plus sign in the string concat operation, this is known as concat operation means if we want, want to join two different strings then we, we use the plus sign and the second is a strict operation and this is known as repetition operation. If we want to repeat many times uh, same type of string many times then use the multiplication sign with the string means number of times to repeat. Now for example here if we say str is an object to the string, the string is computer science. Now, here let str, the str refer to the location computer science. computer then space here. So, I space here and then science n then c then e. Now, the positive indexing start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. If we use the 
negative indexing just already work minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 minus 10 minus 11 minus 12 minus 13 now minus 14 minus 15 and minus 16 these are negative indexing now we will perform the different operation here this this is the memory location memory location and this is positive indexing and this is negative indexing you can use both now str refer to the computer science the first operation print str print str simply print statement print the whole the string str str refer to this location so starting from here and goes up to here so computer science now print str 0 now this is 0 0 means this is indexing value now print the character at present at index number this this is 0 index number 0 so at index number 0 the c is present so the output will be the this one c now the print now str this operation this is slice operation means slice means we are getting a part of a string us or we can say a subset of a string we are getting when we need a subset of a string then use the slice operation in the slice operation there are three parameter actually just get here three parameters in the slice operation first is start from where we want to start to slice and second is and means this is excluding and is excluding means if this is 5 then goes up to the fourth index start from the second index and goes up to the fourth index excluding 5 excluding 5 means goes up to here goes up to here start from index number 2 start from index number 2 so this one and third parameter third parameter is the jump parameter means how many steps are we can steps how many steps we want to go after reading a character means this is here no presentation of third this is by default one this is step by default one means just read this m then plus one matlab 2 plus 1 means 2 plus 1 at the location 2 plus 1 this is p now plus 1 that is u up to go so m p u okay if we increase step as 2 means if we get here colon colon and then 2 then this will this will give start from m plus 2 2 index that is 4 u so this will give m u if we give the step 2 size now the third operation this one print str to colon nothing is given here means when nothing is given to the end so goes up to the last element start from here and goes up to the last so this will start from here means start from two index second index that is m and goes up to the last so this will give m p u t e r then space then s c i e n c e science m pewter science this will give m pewter science okay these are different slice operations as per need we will use and the next is this multiply operation with the string multiply means repetition operation means we want to repeat this particular str object how many times two times two times so this will print first time this will print computer science then again this will print computer science same in the same line computer space space here then science computer science now the this plus operation means concatenation operation with the string concatenation means we are 
adding or concat the str object with this particular string. This is string literal that is engineering. So, str the value in str is computer science. So, computer science then concat engineering plus engineering means no space here simply engineering. So, computer science engineering by using this concatenation operation. Okay. Now, in this example, same here, str is computer science in the programming point of view, computer science we will print this one, this will print computer science as discussed earlier and we are printing the item present at location 0 that is C from slice operation start from 2 to 4 that is MPU, start from location 2 to computer, then science, then repetition operation, computer science one time, then again computer science two times. If we give here 3, then again this will repeat number of times, 3 times, give 4, then 4 times, print str plus engineering, this will print computer science and engineering. This is prompt, running prompt, python prompt. Now, the next data type is python list. So, list are the most versatile of python's compound data type and a list consists items separated by commas and enclosed within the bracket. First, how to denote a list by using the bracket sign, by using the bracket sign we will use the list. And to some extent, as we have discussed, as we have known, in the C programming, there are array. This is similar array, like array. This is just like array, but array is homogeneous and list is heterogeneous. Means different types of data type we can accumulate in a particular list. Means one of the difference between them that the items belong to the list can be of different data types means I have discussed integer data type, float data type, okay, complex data type, a string, list is also a data type and tuple dictionary means this can accumulate different types of values here. The values stored in the list can be accessed using the slice operation as in the as in the list slice mean this is indexing and this is slice operation as in the same here, same just like string in the list also same purpose with index starting from 0 just like string and beginning of the list and working their way end is minus 1 same pattern of indexing negative indexing positive indexing as discussed in the string list also have the negative and positive indexing slice operation and this concatenation operation also work with the string this uh, repetition operation also work with the uh, sorry list. The plus sign in the list concatenation operation and asterisk is the repetition operation. Just see the example here. Just take a object that is named as list no problem. List equal this is our list having five elements a b c d first is a string second 786 that is an integer, third 2.23 that is a float value, then zone that is a string and 70.2 that is a float means combination of different types of values means heterogeneous values we can store in the list. And there is another list that is new list named as new list two object list and new list and new list having the two elements that are 1, 2, 3 integer type john is string type. Now, print list this will simply print the print hold the list hold the list list object list object is the, this one print hold the list. Now, second print element present at location 0 in the object list at the list location 0 element is this one 0 1 2 
3 and 4. So, at the location 0, ABCD is here. So, ABCD will be print. Now, third operation. In this, this is slice operation. Start location is 1. End location excluding. End location is excluding 3 means start from 1, start from here and goes up to 2, 1 and 2 because this is excluded. So, start from 1 and goes up to 2. So, 786 and 2.23. This is 786 and 2.23. Now, next start from second index and goes up to oh, this is up to last, last element. Start from a here and by default steps is 1. So, start from 2, start from 2 location, second location that is 2.23 John and 70.2, 2.23 John and 70.2. Next operation is repetition operation. Repetition is applied on the new list object. How many times? 2 times. So, 1, 2, 3 John then repeat 1, 2, 3, John. Uh, list combined 1, 2, 3, John. First time, second time 1, 2, 3, John. Now, this operation concatenation operation. Concatenation operation performed between these two list. So, list and new list. So, list element, 5 elements A, B, C, D, 786, 2.23, John and 70.2. This is first list and plus concat this new list element, new list having two elements, 1, 2, 3 and John. So, these different operations applied on the list object. Okay. Indexing object, indexing operation, slice operation, repetition operation, concatenation operation. Now, some built-in functions available which are applied on the list object. So, built-in list functions just compare CMP list, but this is no longer available in Python 3. So, we are currently using Python 3 mostly. This is for our compatibility. We are discussing here. Here, compare. If you want to compare two list, then list 1, list 2 then CMP functions, but this is not available with the Python 3. So, need not to focus a lot here. Now, the second function that is len list. If you want to find how many elements a list have, then we use the len. So, this gives the total length of the list. Length of the list means number of items present in the list. We will use len function. Now, next function is max. Max means returns item from the list which have max value. Max value. This is implemented when uh, list is generally homogeneous type. Then max function, if we accumulate the marks of the students, then maximum marks we can find, we want to find, then use the max. Same here, just like max, mean is available mean is applied to the this particular list and this will give the minimum value. The next is list sequence. Now, what is sequence? Sequence means having pointing, having a uh, indexing values. So, this will convert a tuple into list. Here sequence may be a tuple. This is just example here. Tuple, tuple is a sequence and string is also a sequence. We can say here tuple, string and many more. M means each and every sequence can be converted to a list by using the list function simply here. Okay. Now, some methods, list method. So, before we discussed functions, now we are, we are discussing methods. So, what is difference between function and method. Simply see here, in the method, we are using dot operation. We are using dot. We are calling the 
this particular method using the list object dot append means when we are using a just like we can say we are accessing a function with the dot operator then that function is known as object uh, that function is known as method that function is known as method this is the concept of object oriented programming language method method present a function present within a class known as method so just simply here by by using syntax difference every method is called with the dot operator just see a dot 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 every method dot box function directly no dot operation is required so what is the method first object name object dot method and the parameters which are here so first method very important method append append in this object uh, what to append this particular object append object to the object to the list if you want to add something to a li existing list then we will use the append method just uh, we will see the example afterwards. just like here if we our l is just say this is 4 5 just say if you want to add a new item 6 here what what is the method l dot append the new object new object that is 6 it is 6 now our uh, new list will be 4 5 and 6 so by using the append we can do this now the list count list dot count count method it count how many times object occur in the list means this is just uh, if you want to count the frequency of a particular object present in the list use the count use the count method means uh, a list can have a list can have uh, repeated object so if you want to count the frequency of the particular repeated object then use the count method now extend append the contents of the sequence to the list if you want to add the sequence to a list then use the uh, extend method use the extend method same here index return the lowest index in the list that object appear if you want to find the index of a particular object we will use the index method so this will give the first occurrence because list can have multiple occurrence of the same item this will return the lowest index in the list now next is insert if you want to insert something at particular index at particular index so we will use the insert insert object into the list offset index at this index we want to insert this particular object now pop pop method this will return remove and return the last element last means present at the minus 1 index and remove remove method remove object obj this particular object from the list and if you want to reverse the list then simply use the reverse method list dot reverse they reverse the object in the list this is important in place in place means at the same place items are changed reversed in the same memory location now next is tuple this is just like a list 99 percent like a list but a uh, one different property that is immutable this is immutable type means we cannot change the uh, items of the tuple after declaring it so a tuple is a sequence immutable python object uh, tuples are sequence just like a list all are same but we cannot immute the this particular object tuple object so there is no need to update insert this type of operations applied in the list before here no need for that tuples use the parenthesis tuples use the parenthesis 
A tuple consists of numbers of values separated by comma. Tuples are represented enclosed within the this particular parenthesis. This is read only list. Read only why read only this because this is immutable. Now example just tuple. This is in parenthesis, so this is tuple. If now there are two tuples, this one. A, B, C, D, 7, 8, 6, 2.23, John and 70.2, this is first tuple and second tuple is new tuple, 1, 2, 3 and John. Now, print tuple, no problem, this simply print the tuple, print tuple 0, no problem, at location 0 is A, B, C, D, slicing operation, no problem, print from 1 to 2, 1 to 2, this is 7, 8, 6 and 2.23. 2 to last element, 2 to last element, no problem, 2 to last element, second index to last index. Now, multiplication operation, multiplication operation we can perform, yes, multiplication operation 2 times, 1, 2, 3, John and 1, 2, 3, John. Concat operation, no problem, concat operation means we are concatting 2, tuple and new tuple, tuples element and new tuples element, no problem. But if you want to delete, if you want to delete some items or reassign some value, just if we are de declaring tuple and list, we are updating, updating the thousand at index 2, this will give the invalid syntax with the tuple because tuple are immutable. Other in the second, if you want to update this particular thousand in the list item no problem list is mutable so this is valid in the list okay now next basic tuple operation just calculate the length concatenation repetition membership operation in we want to search present or not so 3 is present yes this is present this is membership of this is also available in the list this operation and this is uh, iteration operation, we can iterate one by one as in the list or in the string also. Now, see here built in tuple functions, some function as in the list, len, max, mean, tuple, same as the list functions. Now, the python dictionary, next data type which are dictionary. What is dictionary? Dictionary is basically a key value pair. Dictionary is basically a key value pair, each key is separated from its value by the colon sign, by the colon sign, this is different and this is the items are separated by comma and the whole thing is enclosed in the curly braces, this is enclosed in the curly braces, any empty dictionary without the items written in the two curly braces, keys are unique within the dictionary while values may not be, this is keys must be unique. This is key value pair, key and this is value, this item key and value. We can think key, just take example of our attendance register, but in the attendance register, there are roll number and name of student. So, roll number must be unique, that works as a key and names works as a value. So, names may be repeated, uh, two students may have the same name but they must have the different uh, roll numbers. So, in the register scenario, roll number work as a key and name work as a value. So, same here, key must be unique. The value of a dictionary can be any type, but the key must be, key must be a immutable type, Inu immutable data type just like a string numbers and tuples. So, this is re remembering point means key must be a key must be a immutable type which cannot change after a declaring it. So, this is example for example, this is a dictionary empty dictionary, empty dictionary. Now, we want to add dict 1, this is 1, this will add 1 and this 1 means this is a key and, and this is value. This is 1, this is first, 
first item in the dictionary 1 and now second item we are assigning present if the key is present in the dictionary then new value will be assigned if not present then this key and value pair will be added now second item deck 2 deck 2 one item already present in the dictionary that is 1 and this is 1 now second item the key index is 2 and the value is this is 2 this is 2 this is second item added this is in the dictionary and new dict already declared this is key this is value this is key this is value this is key this is value three different items are here key and value pair so here print dict 1 in the dict this is dict in the dict the key 1 so key is 1 this will print the value corresponding value to the 1 this is 1 this is 1 now dict 2 print dict 2 this is key value this is not index this is not index because this have no index just like in tuple and uh, list this having list having no indexing value this have key and value pairs so this work as key the second 2 2 is key key is present here so this will print this is 2 this is 2 now next one print new dict in the new dict three items old dict old dict will be printed old dict will be printed new dict next is new dict dot keys dot key is a method dot keys this will return hold the keys in this particular object this object is new dict new dict have three different key values name code and department so this will print name code and department next is new dict dot values values are in the new dict that is john 6734 and sales john sales and 6734 three different values so these are different methods two different method keys and values applied in the dictionary now updating dictionary we can update a dictionary by adding a new entry just like before or key value pair modifying an existing entry or deleting an existing entry no problem key is mutable type and delete dictionary elements we can either remove individual dictionary items or clear entire content of dictionary just here delete a uh, name key value pair delete a pair which having the name as a key name as a key this one so this will remove this particular item if we want to clear hold the dict hold the dict items then we will use the clear statement this will clear hold the items but dict will be present in the memory empty dict will be present in the memory no problem and with the help of del with the help of del hold the dictionary all the dict object will be removed from the memory. So, this is we can also delete entire dictionary in a single operation to explicitly remove an entire dictionary just use the del statement just like this. Of this. Some properties of dictionary keys, dictionary values have no restriction value may be any type this can be any arbitrary python object either a standard object or user defined object however same is not true for the keys two important point to be noted for the keys most than one entry per key is not allowed more than one entry per key is not allowed one key one value this means no duplicate key is allowed when duplicate key are encountered during assignment if you want to assign then new key then the last assignment wins if we assign multiple times same keys then last assignment will uh, win just like here this is dictionary print dict name name will print siam now dict name 
the output is dict name dict name is now uh, this will print sorry name and name here both have same keys so at last this will win name madhav will assign to the name so here we are printing the dict name so this madhav will wins this madhav will wins and key must be immutable as discussed before this means you can use string number and tuple as dictionary but something like key this is a list is not allowed this must be remember some functions just like before compare length str str dict str dict produce a printable string representation of the dictionary if you want to print the dictionary in printable format use the str and type this is just like if you type of any this is applicable with the other object also type of the particular object or variable return the type of the past variable this is dictionary this is a list this is a string something some methods i will discussed here dot clear remove the element of the dictionary items how many items present in the value items are key value pair key value pair return the list of dict key value pair number of keys we want to access then use the key method update adds dictionary dict to key value pair to the dictionary add means dict this is just like dict plus dict to means update the key value dict dot values return the values present in the dict okay thank you thanks a lot jain